Well, I think we've heard a, a great dialogue here uh, in Baku so far. Uh, I would say one of the biggest challenges we, we hear uh, is around climate mm -hmm. change uh, and how space is so important to understanding climate change. Of the United Nations, 54 elements where they study climate change, mm -hmm. 26 of those are provided, provided with data from space. So this is one of the ways where space can really uh, help to understand an issue, address an issue, and then look uh, at actionable things we can do to, to mitigate and combat against climate change. First, uh, you know, Tiangong is now fully uh, operational, uh, and uh, we had a beautiful message during the opening ceremony. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, and I think there's more to come uh, on this station as well, as it really starts to to gain some momentum uh, in space. And so a platform in, in LEO for sure. Uh, on the moon, of course, uh, I think, uh, you know, China has won several awards now for uh, uh, their missions uh, to the lunar surface uh, in lunar orbit. Um, so more to come there because I think the, the moon will be the next focus mm -hmm. uh, for, for the entire world, but China as well. Um, how do we go to the moon? How do we learn how to live on the lunar surface? How do we use the resources uh, of the lunar surface? Uh, these are going to be the, the really the primary elements of learning how to live and work in outer space so that we can build uh, together in outer space. And then of course Mars, but I think the moon first is the, the next major step beyond low Earth orbit. These are huge things I think that um, A, show leadership. Uh, it's wonderful to see that new focus uh, from all these nations, you know, from uh, particularly some of the largest uh, populations on Earth focused on space. You know, the access to space to launch, mm -hmm. the prices come uh, down. Mm -hmm. A lot of this is attributed to reusable rockets. Constellations and the move into low Earth orbit is another one. And then numerous systems in polar orbits that are doing Earth's observation, radar satellite systems, helping us learn about the planet uh, and doing observation. So if you take all those together, satellites have gotten smaller, cheaper, more efficient, and as have launches. So this has opened up incredibly the access. And now we see it uh, being replicated for commercial space stations. So this is the next step.